Hey, what's up guys? Kristen from Barefoot Theory here. Uh, I am with my Sprinter van and today I want to show you guys how to change a spare tire on a Sprinter van. So I myself am not super experienced. Um, I've got my dad behind me here. Hey dad. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> and he's gonna show me the rope so if I ever am out in the back country by myself and I need to change my tire, I know exactly how to do it. So a really good place to start when you're learning how to change your spare tire is the owner's manual of your car kind of gives step-by-step -step directions. So we're looking at that, getting specific directions for uh, my actual vehicle, and then we're gonna follow them. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm gonna show you is exactly what you need to jack up your car and change your tire. So the first is a ratchet, and then you need a socket that fits into the ratchet. And when you're choosing the socket, you need to make sure that it fits on the lug nuts for your individual wheels. So depending on what wheel you have, you might have a different size socket that you need to get. Next, I have this wooden board. I'm gonna use this to put the jack on. So say I'm on a dirt road and I'm kind of on uneven surface and I don't have a stable surface to place the jack on, having the board, I can put the jack on then I don't have to worry about the the jack falling and the car falling while I'm dealing with the wheel. And then next is the jack. So this jack came with my car. I bought my Sprinter new and this was in the little area in front of the, the passenger seat uh, below the feet. So if, you didn't, if your car doesn't have one, you need to make sure you carry one with you at all times. So before I get into the car, I want to show you how this jack works. This is a basic hydraulic jack um, and this is the lever that it came with. First, we have to close it, so um, it means that it kind of will lock in place as we jack it up. So there's a little notch here in the lever, and you stick it right here, and you're going to turn it to the right, remember righty-tighty, to close it till it's tight. Uh, I'm going to kind of sp start spinning this up. I'm going to kind of guess how high I'm going to need it, and that means I'll have to jack it up less far once it's underneath the van. Uh, and then the third step is, see this is, there's a little notch here on the other end of the lever and you're going to stick it in right here, not lock it in place. Once the jack is underneath the car and it's kind of close to the axle where I want to jack up the car, that's when I start to pump the lever like this. And you can see that this is slowly coming up. Okay, so now I'm gonna get under the car and show you where you wanna put it. So now I'm underneath the van. This is the axle of the car, right behind the tire I wanna change. So I'm gonna spin this up so it's close. I'm gonna cradle the axle. So that's as high as I can hand spin it. So I'm gonna have it angled a little bit out towards me so now I'm going to stick this notch up in the jack, just like I explained before, and I'm going to start to pump it up. Okay, so now I feel a little pressure. Okay, so now the jack is steady on the axle. Before I jack it up too high, I'm going to loosen up the lug nuts on the tire. Uh, remember, this is the socket or the ratchet in the socket. So that just goes in there like that. And then you place it on the lug nut. The lug nuts were put on by a machine when I got my tires put on. So they're on there pretty tight. So the purpose for loosening them is, so once the car is lifted up on the jack, if you really got to put a lot of energy into getting the lug nuts off, you want the car to be stable. So that's why I'm loosening them before I jack the car up. Okay. Go. Now that I have all the lug nuts loose, I'm going to get back into the car. I'm going to jack it up a little bit more just to get an, a little bit of air underneath the tire. If you are on any sort of unstable surface, you never want to get under the car when you have a flat tire and you're jacking it up or if the car is a little bit unsturdy, you want to stay outside of the car once you start to jack it up and get uh, the support on the jack. So you can see the tires coming up a little bit there. Now I've got the car jacked up. It's probably about a half inch um, off the ground. 
So now I'm gonna loosen up all the lug nuts all the way and I'm gonna take the tire off. And imagine this is a flat tire. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so since they're already loose, all I really need now is a socket. I can just stick it on there and unscrew them and a couple of twists and they could, should come right out. Now the lug nuts are out, so the tire should come right off. And the reason you only want it a little bit off the ground is so it doesn't like fall on you when you take it off because these tires are really heavy. So I'm just gonna get in there and slide it right off. Okay. All right. So that's what it looks like under there. Okay, so come around back with me here. And I, my spare tire is stored on this aluminous uh, rack that's uh, on my bumper here. So in the case that that tire really was flat, I would take this off and I would put, put my spare on and probably put that one in the car since it's a little bit heavy for me to get up here by myself. Uh, but since my tire is not actually flat, I'm just going to put the original one uh, back on just so I don't have to go through that process. Okay, so now I'm going to roll the tire that I'm going to put back on over here. I'm going to get it as close to the hub as I can. And then I need to try to line the holes up for the lug nuts with the holes on, what's that thing called? The hub. <laughs> the hub. <laughs> Be careful not to disturb the jack as you're doing this. Okay. okay. So you got to get it really close by, you know, kind of doing that but you may not be able to get it on because the, the height of the jack. So in that case, case, I'm gonna adjust the height of the jacks. It looks like I need to go up just a smidgen. So I'm gonna reach around. Okay, I'm almost there. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna see if I can get one of these lug nuts back in. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna use the socket to tighten it up. A little bit hard to get them lined up and we kind of use this little tool here to pry it under and kind of like give me a little leverage as I was trying to get the bolts in. So once you, th you think you have one lined up, it's a good idea to, to put it in there and see. So now we have one here, we're tightening the second one here, and then I'm gonna see if I can just get the rest of them in. Okay, so that's all six of them that are back in. So before I lower the jack, I'm gonna snug them up by using my ratchet. In the sprinter manual, there's a little diagram here that kind of shows you the order that you're supposed to tighten the lug nuts back on. So I'm gonna follow uh, that pattern. So now it's time to lower uh, the jack. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna use this small side of the handle again. I'm gonna stick it in there. And get it on there and I'm gonna slowly twist it. All right. So now all the weight is on the car and not on the jack. Okay. All right. Grab the jack out. So now the jack is out from the car and before I drive off, I'm gonna get the lug nuts one last uh, tighten. Make sure they're, they're really, really tight. Um, you really have to put a lot of power into them because the last thing you want is the lug nuts flying off when you're driving down the road. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> so, stick that on there. And I'm gonna push it down like that. You can even stand on it like this and really put some leg weight into it, make it as tight as possible. So, that, folks, is how you change a spare tire. Definitely not easy by yourself, so, um, you know, if you have like some sort of roadside assistance, that's always an option if you have phone service, but 
If you're out in the middle of nowhere, it's a good skill to have. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed these sprinter videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll be posting more sprinter related videos coming soon. And thank you. <laughs> okay, I just started that over. And thanks so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> Do I have dirt on my face? Yes. My dad's laughing at me. Okay, go. <laughs>